health seeker Zinga from Health Origins here. Tonight it's uh, part three of cheese series and we're gonna make some hard cheese. Um, to be honest with you this is this only the second time I'm uh, making this recipe last time. Um, I didn't put enough agar agar in there and it didn't set hard it was kind of more, more like a soft cheese. So um, this is going to be um, a trial for myself as well, um, so we'll see if we can do it together. So let's get started. So um, the ingredients we're going to need for the cheese are um, here. Uh, by the way, I'm using recipe from Cooking with Plants um, website and I'll uh, link it below for you as well. Um, however, I've kind of modified a couple of things. I'm not putting as much salt uh, because I think five teaspoons um, or two and a half teaspoons for, you know, the one portion. It was quite a lot of salt, but we'll see, you know, we'll taste it after we make it. Um, and um, I haven't got white pepper so I'm omitting that but anyway so for a double recipe we're gonna need two cups of oats okay uh, we're gonna need two cups of um, steamed uh, sweet potatoes uh, one cup of nutritional yeast flakes um, two uh, marinated uh, sorry, grilled bell peppers. Um, I think that's actually pointed peppers. Um, then we've got two tablespoons of smoked paprika. We've got two teaspoons of onion powder and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Then we've got four teaspoons of salt for a double recipe. And then we've got four tablespoons of lemon juice. This is um, juice of one lemon, actually. Um, and then we've got four cups of water. We're going to need two cups initially at the bottom of the blender and two cups on the top. Um, and also I've got this additional um, tahini. I've got two tablespoons of tahini because I want to try putting a little bit of tahini in the cheese as well. So I'll make... Um, like the main um, the main base of the cheese with everything and then I'll decant some into a container and then add the tahini to um, a little bit of the cheese to make a, a different batch and see how it tastes so um, there's a good tip for you guys if you wanna change the recipe it's best to change one ingredient at a time so if you're adding something don't add two things because you'll not know which thing perhaps didn't work if it doesn't um, so just add one different ingredient at a time and then you'll know if it works or if it doesn't then you'll know actually what uh, who, you know which ingredient is at fault there okay so let's get started so let's start by pouring two cups of water in and for this you'll need a powerful blender, so I'm using my Thermomix, you can use your uh, Vitamix, Blendtec, um, so any powerful blender will do because you want to um, cheese quite smooth. So I'll pour two cups in. Yeah, that's about two cups. And then add the rest of the ingredients, so I'll add my oats. My sweet potato, peppers, nutritional yeast, and then all the spices, so smoked paprika, salt, And then onion powder and um, garlic powder. So that's done. And we're going to be blending this for um, a few minutes until it's smooth. And I'll show you how it looks like. By the way, before we start blending, I forgot the other two cups of water. So I'll add those on top of all the ingredients. I believe that helps it blend. Um, and also for the other bit of the um, 
the cheese for the hot ingredients I forgot to uh, mention that you'll need um, two and two thirds of a cup of water um, in, in a small pan and also uh, five tablespoons of agar agar powder well this is um, obviously for double recipe the one that I'm making now okay and you'll need some kind of a, a whisk because um, that's the easiest to mix it with but um, I'll show that obviously when we get to it but that's you know the the the, uh, the rest of the ingredients so um, let's get blending uh, nearly made a mistake um, lemon juice uh, stayed on the counter good that I've checked so lemon juice goes in as well very important otherwise it'll not taste very cheesy so it's been about um, one and a half minutes blending and um, it's looking smoothish but not quite um, still I can see a little bit of grains on the sides of the bowls so I think I'm gonna blend for another um, good minute on high and also um, a good idea is if um, you know if you've got um, thermal mix it's a good idea to heat um, to heat the mixture up a little bit if you're sweet potato was cold from the fridge like mine is so that when we pour um, agar agar um, into the mixture that it doesn't um, start setting straight away uh, before we have a chance to put it in the mold so I'm gonna you know heat it up slightly as well um, after blending it for another minute so now the cheese mixture is blended um, so we'll get on with the um the other part which is heating up the water with agar agar so for this next bit we'll need to put the um, five tablespoons of agar agar powder into cold water it's two and two thirds of a cup of water give it a little quick stir um, and I've got my gas on um, medium high um, so we need to make sure you mix it, the agar agar uh, in cold water before it heats up so you could um, do that without the uh, gas on perhaps you know to make sure and then put it on so yeah so we mixed um, the agar agar in and now um, we need to get it to boil um, and then boil it for a few minutes to activate the agar agar so it's getting close to the boil now it's a good idea to keep on mixing while you wait for for the mixture to get to the boil because you want to distribute it evenly and not sticking anywhere so yeah it's now it's, it's starting to thicken up so we'll let it get to a rolling boil and then um, boil it out for a good four or five minutes just to make sure this kind of chemical taste of the agar agar gets um, boiled off cooked off so yeah we'll just keep on mixing and let the mixture thicken and boil for another five minutes so it has been five minutes and um, it's you know thickened a little bit more even so yeah I'm gonna take it off gas and we're gonna pour it into the uh, cheese mixture so I'm gonna pour this in by the way to let you know that I've tasted the mixture and there's definitely enough salt for my liking for tea, um, teaspoons but obviously it's up to you you can you know taste it and if you think there's not enough salt you know add another um, bit so I'll pour the uh, mixture in and we're gonna give it another blend quickly
You have to try and work quickly with this before it starts uh, really setting. So now yeah, I'm gonna put the lid on and blend it for um, a minute or so. So that finished. Oh wow. It is nice. There's gonna be a lot of cheese, so um, I hope we like it. So there's a lot of cheese, guys. So I'm gonna pour um, quite a few of them into the mold. So I'm using silicon molds, um, plastic molds would work as well, and um, I, I hope you know that the glass one also uh, works. So we'll test that out. But I'll leave that one for the one with the tahini I want to try. But um, so let's let's just pour it into the shapes. And you have to work pretty quick because I can see like on the top the the crust was already forming. So gonna pour these in. Probably a bit more in them. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit for the round one. Um, and add the um, tahini to it. So I'm going to add tahini to this last bit. So that's blended. I'm gonna add that to my last round container. Get the last bit out. Get all of it out. So voila, you've got um, three and a half cheeses. So um, we'll, we'll set them overnight and we'll taste them uh, tomorrow, guys. So guys, this is the next day and we've got the cheeses. Um, you'll be happy to know that the, um, the one that I had in the round glass ramekin that I wasn't sure if I'll be able to uh, take out or not, it actually came out really easily. I just tapped it once on the board and it came out. So yes, so you can do it in glass containers, no problem, and it'll just slide out. Um, so yeah, so we've got the, um, the original recipe here. And as you can see, I've graded some as well. I'll show you like a, a close-up photo of that. Um, so this is the original and then we've got that one that I've added some tahini to. So we'll taste them both and see which one we like. So shall we try start from the original then? Yeah, you, uh, you lead the way love. You made it, you know what it is. So, so let's give it a try. Smells good. What do you think? It's got a nice flavour. Mm. Texture wise I wouldn't say it's like cheese. Yeah, a bit different isn't it? It's a bit different, it's more... Like it's got some kind of like um, starchy taste to it doesn't it? Well, it's probably because of the sweet potato in it or something. It um, reminds me of something, but I really can't think what. It's like, 
Like some kind of canned meat? Yeah, like spam or something. Yeah. Not yeah. that I've ever had spam here it in really, this country ever before, but... As soon as I put it in my mouth, it was like canned meat. Um, which so is quite, not, <laughs> quite strange. Not the result we were after, guys. <laughs> Well, I'm not saying it's not that. I mean, the, the yeah. flavour is really good. You kind of got a nice smokiness through, which I'm presuming smoked paprika. Yeah. Yeah. So that really comes through. Um, there is a bit, a bit of cheesiness there. I don't know if you use nutritional yeast, yeah. Yeah. So there is that kind of coming through, but kind of with the texture, it almost has that kind of canned meat feel yeah. to it. It's, it's, it's similar to the. It's nice. It's, it's it similar nice. to the homemade kind of. Uh, doctor's sausage that my friend made isn't it yeah um yeah, yeah it is anyway but that's probably for another story here yeah but uh, <laughs> yeah let's try that um which that one? other one this one this one okay yeah. so this is one the one that i've added a couple of tablespoons of tahini to okay ah. so we'll probably have a little bit more of a richer kind of uh, mouth feel Again, same texture, obviously it's kind of the same across the range, but... Mm. Yeah, there is a very slight tahininess kind of coming through. Yeah. But to be, be honest, not, I think I preferred the other one a bit yeah, better. Yeah, I think the original is slightly better. So stick to original recipe, guys, I think. The tahini, I don't think it added much good to this. Um, but that's why it's good to try just with, you know, a little little amount and with, you know, one ingredient so that you know, you know, to compare and then you know which one you prefer. Mm, uh, I think definitely original. But really, I don't know whether I would be eating this on its own per se, on a sandwich or something, perhaps mixed with other things maybe, uh, and yeah. also grated on things, you know, like on... Well, obviously you would use it just like anybody would use normal cheese, you know, yeah. you have whatever and cheese sandwich that's always yeah. with something, you know what I mean, or... So I would say probably it will be great for that, and even probably for pasta bakes and things, you know, probably work and... Does it melt? Um, not sure, so that's the experiment, guys, that uh, maybe you can do, and we'll do as well, and then you can leave us some uh, comments below and let us know whether it actually melts. As agar agar, it shouldn't really melt, but I'm guessing it will to some extent, a little bit perhaps. It's not going to be like a complete melt, yeah. I don't think. Um, if you want a melty cheese, then you would need to use tapioca or arrowroot or something like this to, you know, to stiffen it with. Mm -hmm. But agar agar, really, it's non-melty, even, you know, kind of uh, warmed, you know, heated up. But it might a little bit. So let us know, actually, guys, if you try this. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed our last third series exper experiment. Like I said, this is just the second time I've made the cheese, and the first, uh, like the first time, it was too soft and non-successful. This time, it's set, so you know it looks like cheese. You can even grate it, so that's kind of um, uh, a good, yeah, good, good result, yeah. yeah. But um, I think, as for the taste, I think we still need to kind of search for something you know for maybe it's, some improvement it's great to use with other things and it's cheap because obviously it's not nasty you know, i mean I, could eat, I can eat that by myself but i wouldn't really think of it as a food in, in and of itself if you know what i mean yeah uh, it tastes and, nice you know because the good thing with this cheese is that it's not using nuts which are very expensive so you know you're using uh, oats and you're using i think oats that's what it is you know the starchiness, kind of non-cooked starchiness feel. I think that comes from oats because they are raw oats. I wonder if it would work with. Oat. I would never have guessed you had oats in there. Right. See. I would never have guessed. I wonder. See, my uh, my inquisitive and kind of experimental mind is thinking now. What if we put oatmeal, actually cooked oats, and then blend it up? Would that work at all? So maybe watch out for some future experiments, guys. It's like I might be in for a treat. <laughs> but um, that's uh, all from us tonight. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give us thumbs up. Um, share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't done so. 
for future videos. Comment and, below. Yeah, comment if you tried, you know, the cheese, if you tried to see if it's melting or not. And see you next time. Bye, guys.